Hey, today we have a Cummins ISM, which is essentially a, a sister engine or a brother engine, whatever the hell you want to call it, of the Cummins uh, M11, L10, M11, now it's the ISM. Uh, this is a 2009 International, and right now we have a couple things going on, okay? We have a, an injector that seems to be missing, it's not firing correctly. So what you can do if you have your software, again, you're gonna need your Insight software for this. You can go look up your codes. Now, right now you're gonna notice we have no codes for injectors, okay? 2638, 2637, and 1117. Has to do with your filter, your filter, and a power supply issue, okay? Now, again, nothing to do with injector, but the reason why I'm gonna do this little test is because you can feel the truck shaking more, let's just say more than normal diesel will do okay so once you close that down you can go over to your left side you can go to your ECM diagnostic tests and you can do a cylinder cutout test okay now right now the truck is shaking it's at idle all the injectors are supposed to be firing again no check engine line doesn't mean we don't have a bad injector because again injectors are like electric or electronic and they are mechanic okay they internal components so right now if I cut out number one you're gonna hear the difference I hope you can if you're inside the truck, you can feel the difference. It'll tremble more. And you can hear the injector when it turns back on. So it'll cut out. In other words, it'll stop working and it'll turn back on. It'll restore back to normal. No, I've narrowed it down to number six is not working properly. I'm gonna show you. So there's number six, my bottom left. See, nothing. There's no difference as far as the injector cutting out. Now I'm gonna cut out number five. I hope you can hear the difference and it trembles a lot more. Okay, so now we have an injector number five. Now, number one injector was replaced. I typically recommend to have all of them done. However, you know, everyone's budget and wallet is a little different. In this particular case, we did just the one injector, everything worked fine. And now we have injector number six, which is acting up. Number five is working. There's number four. There's number three. Number two, I don't know if you can hear the difference, but again, you want it to shake, you want it to cut out, and you want to see how it responds to what the test is asking. In this case, again, number six is acting up. Okay, now the reason why I'm doing this as well, okay, the reason why I'm going through this entire process here, I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna get out of this screen, and I'm gonna to go to my previous fault code. Now, fault code, again, fault code 2638, fault code 2637 six times five times after treatment doc okay least severe and then after treatment doc face plug okay now this is probably because well your injector's not working right it's spitting out a lot more fuel than it needs to be and that's what's causing your filter to get clogged now what's going to happen is eventually it gets to the point where a regen is not going to help and you have to drop the filters and get them cleaned you have to clean them and bake them okay uh, I recommend replace your injectors, get everything cleaned, put it all back together and everything will be good. Everyone will be happy. Now do this before you have any further filter damage. As you all know, the DOC is expensive and the DPF is expensive to replace. It's much cheaper to maintain shit than it is to replace it. So I hope this video kind of helped you guys out a little bit to understand, hey, this is what we do to kind of narrow things down rather than just uh, kicking you guys down the road and tell you everything is fine. I'd rather tell you guys the truth and say, hey, guess what? Your injector's acting up, let's replace it. And uh, you know, this way you can get back on the road and make some money. If you guys have any questions, hit me up. As always, uh, I try to respond as fast as possible. Hit me up in the comments. Thanks, thanks for watching guys.